Bride to be devastated after a fire swept through her home. Her wedding dress ruined, but she was thankful she was able to save the dog. And today, a generous gift from a bridal salon in Birmingham. Action News reporter Kimberly Craig was there when two sisters saved the day. This is what's left of the home Hope Kaminsky shared with her fiance and his sister in the city of Wayne. An electrical fire caused by a storm destroyed everything, including the dress Hope was supposed to wear for her upcoming wedding. And Tina Kalani's husband saw the story on Action News. And he heard the story, so he took a screenshot of the, I think Hope was in her gown, and he's like yelling my name, Tina, come here, come here. Look at this, what's going on? Is there anything you could do to help this girl? And I said, sure. And today, Hope, a friend and her future sister-in-law went to Blush Couture Bride in downtown Birmingham, where they met with the owner, Tina, and her sister, Donna. I was blown away. Um, I just couldn't believe I went on their website. I saw all the dresses and I got super excited to come here. And Hope tried on a number of beautiful wedding dresses. They all looked amazing on her. From the second we walked in the drawer, they're super inviting and they helped me. They picked out a couple dresses, which basically I loved all of them. So Hope has made her selection and it's a beautiful gown, but we don't want to be a spoiler, so it'll have to remain wrapped up until the big day on August 19th. We were just so excited to do this. Thank God they're alive and safe, and with everybody coming together, I felt like that was just one part we could do. And while we can't show you the exact dress Hope picked, she's sure what her soon-to-be husband will think. He's going to love it. <laughs> Hope and her future family are so thankful to the ladies at Blush Couture Bride, and they say they will never forget others who have helped them so much, especially the firefighters. We are very blessed with all the help that we've gotten because we've had people come from everywhere and give us clothes and necessities and all that. So we are very blessed. In Birmingham, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Good people always stepping up.